Howdy, Daisy Air Gunners. We're back again with another video, a short video on uh, an anniversary edition. And this time we're going to celebrate the 60th anniversary. This is the 60th anniversary edition Red Rider. This is a well-worn one, actually. This is probably one of the worst, uh, well, not bad, bad, but one of the most worn condition anniversary editions I have, personally. But you can see uh, someone has rounded the front of the fore end off. It doesn't look horribly bad, but it's not original on that end piece. But uh, everything else is, is original on it, I guess. It, uh, yeah, they put that, uh, I guess it might be screen printed, I'm not sure, but they uh, put the diamond, you know, addition on there. And uh, buttstock, like I said, it's got, it's got a few scrapes in it. It's got uh, some wire marks in it. It's still a solid gun, though. All, uh, all the guns on the channel here are they're all runners. They all work. Like I say, when they get wore out, I, I rebuild them and make them like new. But yeah, there's an interesting graphic on the stock of the 60s. It's really uh, uh, quite a bit larger <laughs> in every detail to the point. Yeah, I even put a diamond in the banner, scroll banner there, mark of the 60th. That is the stock on the right and the receiver end are the only I'm thinking markings on this particular BB gun that have the 60th on it. So it's not, uh, you know, like covered completely. I mean, the wood's in good shape. It's not completely beat up. It's, like I said, it's been used. It's just where worn. You can see where the uh, original finish is flaked off from standing it up and using it and all that stuff. But, it's not completely destroyed. I honestly believe that the uh, it did not come with the black on it. I'm pretty sure that came with the brown, same as the other ones. And the original uh, loop that holds the lanyard, or the Latigo loop, has been replaced. But uh, still solid on there. Yeah. Interesting comparison to the 50th anniversary. We were talking in that last video that, uh, you know, it's still the same. You've got the instructions on it, how to operate, stuff like that. But then you've got the warnings started on these models. Uh, loading gate's the same as the other. You can push in and up. That's the same as today's standards. Probably don't even need to mention that. Someone has upgraded the front sight with a little bit of fingernail polish or white out. <laughs> yeah. and this one has the... Uh, plastic lever on it that is not by any means you can see it flex there uh, metal lever on this but uh, yeah even on the top end of it like I said someone has had a makeshift set of sights or a scope mounted I'm not sure what was going on with this but I have checked it out internally the gun is sound it, it operates great actually and uh, we've got a lot of videos coming on the uh, uh, firing these so it's just a standard model 1938B. As you can see this is still a Rogers gun before the uh, Made in China changeover. So yeah, it's a shame, but it's kind of interesting. Someone has used it and uh, uh, kind of maintained it. It was in good running order when I first got it, but uh, had to uh, had to replace the seal, main seal in it. It just wasn't getting enough feet per second for me. But yeah, that'll. Uh, yeah, it'll be reappearing again in another video, and in the meantime, we figured we'd give you a look, and this is the 60th, so check back, and I'll, uh, yeah, well, at the uh, 50th, we've got that down too, and we've got a few more anniversaries to talk about as well, so, well, have you had one? Do you know about this one? Leave me a comment below, tell me what you think. Guys, take care, we appreciate you watching, and... Keep them in the bullseye. Best you can anyway, right? <laughs> Take care.